Jewish students out of 20,000 undergrads. Many of them, most of them, excuse me, are from Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati. We do have a bunch of out-of-state students, though. We have quite um, a strong group from Pittsburgh, Chicago, and the D.C. area. About how many of those are active in the Hillel? We see roughly 400 Jewish students at some point throughout the year, uh, but we know there's many more. <laughs> they're, they're here. It's just a matter of us... Um, making that connection and fostering that relationship. What type of Israeli advocacy programs go on at the Hillel here? I'm really glad to say that this year we had a group of students that um, decided they wanted to get a camera internship going here on this campus. Are you familiar with camera? No. It's a, um, it's a magazine publication and it's, uh, it's all about Israel advocacy and um, accurate reporting in the Middle East. Okay. And so one of our Jewish students, Rachel Zelenik from Cleveland, uh, applied for a camera internship through the magazine. She was accepted. And essentially, she um, is responsible for spearheading lots of different programs that focus on. So Rachel um, created a group. It's called Bobcats for Israel. Mm -hmm. And she's been really, really incredible. She's had a lot of uh, students show a great amount of interest. Uh, and she set up a board, so there's a president, and I believe there's a treasurer, and we do have several students um, from different um, countries in the Middle East that are Muslim identified and visit the Muslim Student Association and the mosque. Uh, we have students from Saudi Arabia and um, from Turkey and from a few from Jordan, and it's relatively quiet. We really don't have any conflict with our students, among our students. There's um, there's nothing going on on our campus like there there's there is on other campuses. There is such a lack of interest and almost an apathy that um, there there isn't much dialogue as a result. So what what Bobcats for Israel is trying to do is um, not stir the pot in a negative way and in a controversial way but open up some lines of dialogue which haven't previously been here.